This weekend would have been John Lennon's 80th birthday. So this Dutch beer is a little bit of a tribute to all you Beatle fans and him. See him here walking around. Clock and from the Ursup Brewery in Nijmegen in the Netherlands, we have a bottle of their Sergeant Pepper Saison coming in at 7% ABV. <coughs> now, if anyone knows um, Nijmegen, um, this brewery is down right down on the River Vaal um, in what's called the Honig complex. Now, this was a complex. It used to be an old power station, believe it or not. And if you ever watch the film um, A Bridge Too Far, that's where um, Monty and all that, uh, towards the end of the film, they sort of uh, sit at the top of this um, power station, looking out over, seeing Arnhem in the background on fire, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's uh, played a little bit of a significant role in the um um, the back, well, especially the Vile crossing at Nijmegen, where um, they watched the troops go across to take the bridge at Nijmegen. So, yeah, it's a little bit of info about the, the old power station in in Nijmegen. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a quirky brewery, believe it or not. Um, the um, the Ursop Brewery. Um, it's quite a fun sort of area if you ever go down into the the, the, the Honig complex. There's lots of sort of, um, you say the Ursop Brewery, there's lots of like street food and that sort of thing. Um, and believe it or not, they, <laughs> they've got all these businesses in there. It's something like they don't pay rent or something like that. Um, it's like um, they don't own the building <laughs> or something like that, but the Dutch government or the Nijmegen <laughs> Um, council let them have all this stuff in there because no one wants to buy the property or something um, it's something sort of um, from my sort of friends that live in Nijmegen have told me about the place um, so without further ado let's crack this open um, I think I've already um, reviewed one of their, um, their I think a Bock beer I reviewed one of the Bock beers from the Ursop um, brewery so without further ado, let's crack this open and let's play homage obviously to John Lennon, you know, it, it, you can see there, you know, Sergeant Pepper on there. I thought it'd be appropriate for this weekend. You know, I've got quite a few Beatles fans in my subscribers. So let's get this Saison into a glass. I have actually had this before, believe you me. I've had this beer in, in, in Nijmegen many a times. So there, so there we go, really. Um, first impressions. It's, oh, it's a cloudy orange, slightly amber beer with a beautiful one and a half finger white tight foam head. Let's get the aromas. It's yeasty, it's peppery, it's herbal. It's got that, those candied yeasts, that sort of sherbety feel on the end of your nose. Caramel, hints of orange there. Quite peppery quite really is um you know sergeant pepper yeah it is actually is quite peppery so without further ado let's give it a try cheers it's a very very soft mouthfeel this beer there's carbonation there, but it disperses very, very quick and just leaves this soft, velvety feel on your tongue. There's some malts coming through. It's a 
sort of just past medium on the body of this beer. It's you do sort of get this this orange peel start coming through after you take a few sips. Now, believe it or not, when you think of normal saisons, normal saisons, they're one hop, one malt, and that's it. Well, they've done it a little bit differently. <laughs> That's the Dutch, yeah, okay. Um, we've got two American hops in here. The Tetnang and Cascade. And they've obviously got some coriander in it. But when it comes to the, the, the malts, They've actually got um, Pilsmoot, Vienna, and Taramoot malts in this. So, you know, they're messing around a little bit with, with the typical Saison. They're putting a, a little take on it themselves. Um, quite a fruity beer. Oh, it just smells so lovely. It laces the glass well. Um, first time I actually had this beer, believe it or not, was in um, a um, from in Nijmegen. I've got a favourite favourite burger shop that I go to called Wally Burger, and they make some fantastic burgers in there. Really, really good. And um, yeah, the first place I actually had this beer was um, Wally Burger quite a few years ago, actually. And it went down really, really well with a with a burger. Um, you think about it, Wally Burger for anyone who who thinks what is it? It's a it's a burger joint where you're going to pay about ten euros for a, for a handmade burger, and they practically make the burgers in front of you. So if you're ever in Nijmegen, check it out. And those of you that Watch this channel from Nijmegen, know exactly what I'm about. Um, I love this Saison. It's great. Um, I'm surprised this hasn't actually been, this hasn't been reviewed on YouTube yet. I'm really, really surprised, to be honest. It's quite readily available in, 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 in the Netherlands. You know, most supermarkets you can buy this from. A lot of bars. I know um, in Arnhem, um, Tafoys in Arnhem had it on draft. I remember going in there and seeing it on draft in Tafoys. So if you're from Arnhem, you, you know what I'm on about there, Tafoys. Stefan Bream will know about all these places. All in all, a very good, robust Saison. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, it's refreshing, it's light, it's got plenty of taste, plenty of aroma, and it's it's great to have with food. You know, it really does sort of neutralise your palate for the food. So, look, see if you can get hold of a bottle of this, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly.